ironic or appropriate? That's what I'm asking myself right now. As it turns out, the military officer who's in charge of, you know, training against sexual assault, rape, and stuff like that is now being investigated for having committed crimes against women, particularly things like uh, sexual abuse, of uh, improper conduct with females, and possibly leading a prostitution ring. Uh, the man has been relieved of duty, however, he has not been charged with anything. Now, he was responsible for overseeing sexual assault prevention for a battalion of about 800 people, which is actually pretty scary when you think about it. The Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel had some words about it. He reacted with frustration, anger, and disappointment over these troubling allegations and the breakdown in discipline and standards they imply. Is really anyone surprised about this? I mean, we have already seen in the past an astronomical number of women in the military suffer from sexual abuse, uh, groping, fondling, rape, sexual assault, a lot of really nasty stuff. And this has been going on for a very long time uh, at astronomically high levels without actually being checked, without having something being done about it. I mean, this has been a very taboo subject, you know, for a, for a very long time. And only now, in the last two years or so, has there been a lot of, you know, public speak about it and outrage from some officers. But the question remains, why? Why does this keep happening? Why is this endemic within the military? And not, you know, just the United States. I mean, this is endemic within militaries all across the world. Well, why is that? Well, here's one answer. This perfectly illustrates the nature of the military as an exclusive institution whose internal culture breeds misogyny and the illusion of Spartan machismo. The really frightening thing to think about is if this is how the soldiers treat their own women on their own side, imagine how bad they're treating the women of the countries they occupy.